Hey everyone, Stephen Green here. Stephen in 60 seconds or so is on. So we did have a release today from RBC Economic Research and there was a couple of really interesting points I wanted to share with you. I keep getting the question, what's gonna happen with interest rates? I still don't know the answer, but here's some indicators that may show that we might not see a huge jump in rates anytime soon. So just a really quick few items. Um, one thing that came out that was really important is that the debt to income ratio for households has actually stayed stable. Um, they said there's some slower debt accumulation, so whether it's a slow increase, but let's call it stable because otherwise they would have said there was a huge increase. So um, it is right now at 178%. I remember 10 years ago when it was about 158%, uh, they were saying, my God, if we hit 161, everything is just gonna go sideways. So that's basically how much debt you have to overall income. National scale, different mortgage amounts. Um, it does include mortgages for household debt, different mortgages amount right across the country. So that's steady at 178, that's a good sign. That means we're not increasing a whole ton of debt in our households. Um, they're also attributing um, more stringent mortgage qualifying rules. So we haven't seen any changes, knock on wood, in quite a while to mortgage qualifying. And uh, that tells me the government is, is happy with what they're seeing uh, around um, the amount of mortgage debt, etc. cetera. So uh, they're, they are attributing the, the tougher rules uh, to uh, overall household debt um, only grew at 3.7% year over year. And they're indicating the words they used was the slowest rate in a generation in the first quarter. That tells me people are getting less access to debt. That will make the government happy and hopefully keep rates stable instead of an increase or a decrease to spur spending or slow it down. Um, the other part that I found really interesting is um, they're indicating that there's more stable residential real estate values. And that actually gave a nice boost, boost is the word they use, to household assets. So we talk about debt, we talk about um, debt to income ratio, but how much money do people actually have saved up? So they're indicating there was a nice boost to that. It was up, they said 2.2% quarter over quarter. Um, of course, it is on a national scale. So you get everybody in there from the East Coast to the West Coast to um, everybody in between. So, um, you know, based on what we're seeing, and I will post down below, I will post the link to the report. It's a very short report. Those are the ones I like the most. Um, but take a look at it. And uh, every indication is we're not going to see rates move too, too much. Now, anything can happen. But based on the economic uh, outlook, I don't think it's going to happen real soon. Until next time, talk to you soon.